or do you have acne prone skin or just in general sensitive skin that when you do hair removal well it comes out all flared and red and like you can get um, acne like horrible breakouts if so then this is definitely for you guys because I do this and it's seriously a lifesaver all the time in the past whenever I used to get threading done so my eyebrows is perfectly fine like I can thread I tend to thread my hairline and that is a definite must I have to thread my hairline and I've made my hair go weird hmm. so I always thread my hairline and above my brows underneath my brows I thread in between my brows and it's perfectly fine I have no breakouts and I'm so thankful I have no breakouts on my forehead so when it comes to the upper lip well that is painful it is seriously painful um i have a very 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 sensitive like underneath the eye area of my face is very sensitive um in general my skin is quite sensitive to a lot of products as well even makeup products so i have to be careful what i use so this hair removal method that i am going to tell you guys and demonstrate um is a complete lifesaver i'm going to tell you a quick little story before I go on to the demonstration so do a keep with me to see the demonstration um, of me using these products so my little story is when I first ever got my threading done um, it just broke me out horrifically like really 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 bad and I think the place that I went to it wasn't very um, it wasn't very clean it was a place that I'd go to in Southall um, in London yeah, South Hall. And I'd go there and I'd always get my eyebrows done there. So I thought, why not do like the sides? So anyway, I broke out really, really, really bad. Um, there was nothing applied on top. And it was my first time I ever did it. And I didn't know what to do. And then I got it done again, like twice. And that was perfectly fine. Like the ladies put aloe vera gel on top. And I always think it's a must. You should always have some aloe vera gel there. Because I know a lot of my clients request it. And some of them are like... I'm not really bothered it's perfectly fine um and then the last person I went to she was actually somebody who um none of my friends or family have ever been to she's just local to my in-laws um so I literally went I'll go to her that's what I did because um, where I live now with my in-laws like the whole strip is like this beautician 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 so anyway I went to her and while she was threading now this is no way am I bragging about my threading skills but a lot of my clients always say to me like it's like you're not even touching our face it's like the thread is just gently gliding over our face and there is no pain so I was like that's really nice like I love hearing that because I, I like to know I'm not hurting my clients so anyway I went to this lady and yeah it literally felt like something sharp was going over my face and then what happened was I asked if she had any aloe vera gel she didn't which I thought okay fine I've got some at home so anyway I proper put aloe vera gel on everywhere and guess what happened I had some infection it was some major infection I had and I was like I cannot believe this is, I, I use these I use hair removal creams that is what I use and then what I do is um, when I've done the hair removal cream it will remove the hair so you can see it's nice and clean compared to what it will be in a moment uh, when you see the demonstration so I use these and then if I see any hairs coming back I literally tweeze them out or myself I'll put a lot of talc on my face no makeup by the way do not thread when you have makeup on um, especially all this area so I would um, make up free, put talc on and just thread over the areas where I've got tiny hairs coming back and that is how I maintain it. I do not do a whole straight threading, I do not do that. I can thread myself, however it will take slightly longer, well not slightly longer, way longer and the way that I am these days is like I'm so busy to even remember to sit down and do it all. So these are seriously the best now this one this is nads facial um hair removal cream i actually prefer the nair gentle effective 
removal cream compared to the NABS. This one, it slightly irritated my skin, whereas this one doesn't. So I'm using this one in the demonstration video, and if you want to know, if you want to know how I do this, and it's nice and clean, yeah, they're equal. I, I've got a thing as well, I have to have this going down. I do not understand why you want like a straight cut off line. Do not have a straight cut off line, it does not look feminine. Um, so have it angled and you've still got your hairs here which is, you know, perfectly fine. You've still got your hairs there. Um, and it's brilliant! It does not hurt. It seriously does not hurt. So anyway, on to the demonstration video. Carry on watching to see how I use this and what I do. And I seriously recommend this to everybody. So you can see it's the nail product that I'm using. And inside this box there will be a tub like this. And it has a brush inside of that. Now this particular brand I think is really good for sensitive skin. And for me, I do not break out. It does not make my skin irritated. Um, it is brilliant. Absolutely perfect. I love it. So I've got my headband on and I'm going to just apply the product now. And I'm applying it in a triangular shape. And that's only because it's going down the sides across my jawline as well. So they say you need to put quite a bit of this on just to make sure you are covering all of the areas and you have enough product on to make sure the hairs do come out. So you would leave this on for five minutes, um, that's the maximum time, don't leave it on for any longer, otherwise your skin will begin to burn. And whilst I'm waiting I thought I'd just show you my little area with all my products in, I've got my honey, my oils, my Neil's Yard stuff, and yes. Taking a face cloth, making sure it's in lukewarm water, and I'm just going to start wiping away, just make sure you put some oomph into it so have a little bit of pulling motion and you'll be able to see that your hairs will come off nicely I'm just checking here making sure that mine have come off and they do just go in the opposite direction and voila there you go it's quick simple easy and thank you guys so much for watching